donors to the United Way of Ross County realize that change is not easy. And mostly, change doesn't happen alone. Whatever their reasons for giving, from an urge to solve the critical problems facing our community, to addressing the basic needs of their fellow resident, the helping hands of United Way partners have turned struggles into triumph, hunger into happiness, fear of the unknown into optimism for the future. My name is Justine Smith. I'm the executive director of Carver Community Center. Carver Community Center is a, a nonprofit, as you know. Um, all of our funding comes from donations, grants, and from the United Way. Without support from the United Way, uh, we would not be existing. Um, United Way is a program where if we have a specific need, for example, a refrigerator, we can call United Way, let them know what our problem is, uh, what our need is, and how we could possibly address the need, and they jump right on board and give us a hand. During the pandemic, um, we found a lot of families had a major problem with food insecurity. Uh, kids were no longer in school. They were, all the kids were home all day long. Uh, we have parents that were struggling to feed the children. Um, we also had folks that were struggling just to provide food for themselves. So what Carver did is we decided to do a daily meal program, which ran five days a week. And we provided at least a lunch for the adults and a breakfast and a lunch and a snack for the children. Um, the expenses for the program were astronomical, something that we couldn't, we couldn't do on our own. So we did give a call to United Way and let them know what we were planning on doing. Um, our regular meal that we provide during the week may only serve 50 people. But um, during COVID, our numbers went to at least 120 a day. Um, so without United Way, there was no possible way we could manage it. We had to buy new equipment. Um, we had to buy protective gear for our staff and also protective gear for the children, as well as the people that came into the soup kitchen to eat every day. Um, once again, without United Way and the funding they provided us, we couldn't provide that service for the community. Um, one of the things that, that really st struck me um, is that I made a call on a Monday, and I think it was a Wednesday when I had a response. So it, it was a wonderful thing. Um, it's a wonderful service that we are still providing to the community. Um, but once again, without United Way, it wouldn't have been possible. COVID-19 has impacted all of us, but when we stand united, we all win. Because of the generosity of our corporate and individual donors, the United Way of Ross County has been able to provide more than $154,385 of COVID-19 related grants to local schools, nonprofits, and churches who were all on the front line of the COVID battle. And we are not done. I'm Julie Bolin, Executive Director at Ross County Community Action. Well, we saw so much need during COVID and United Way has been a partner of ours and has helped fund a lot of our initiatives and programs over the years. So it was only natural that we would go to the United Way for help and assistance to help meet the needs in the community. Community Action offers a wide variety of social service programs to the community. We have programs that can help with utility assistance. We also have a housing program that helps with homeless individuals providing shelter. We also have the rapid rehousing program, weatherization programs. We offer a wide variety of recovery support programs, including the CARES program, and we have the Head Start Preschool program for Ross County. Together with nearly 4,000 donors and corporate leaders, and more than 5,000 volunteers, the United Way of Ross County is fighting for the health, financial stability, and education of every person in our community. Last year alone, we delivered healthy food to nearly 22,000 individuals and helped more than 1,300 people get on the path to financial stability through our VitaTax program. We provided school programs and individualized support to nearly 5,000 students Hello, I'm Kim Jones. I'm the chair of the board of the United Way of Ross County. 
United Ways in every community are critical agencies. And that's because all of the fundraising that's done, all the dollars that come in, go out to support local agencies that are designed to help the most vulnerable in the community. Ross County United Way does the same thing. All of the dollars raised during their campaigns go out to support many um, community agencies that provide support for things like education, for economic and financial stability, for health-related programming. As it also includes support for our local 211 line, which is a critical com piece of community infrastructure that's designed to provide resources and referrals to people 24-7, seven, seven days a week, uh, for any type of crisis that might arise in their, in their everyday lives. Having your support for the United Way of Ross County means that we're able to keep all of these types of programs going and out there and available for people in need. While our community's problems cannot be solved overnight, the services we provide and the organizations we support are making a big difference. My name is Wayne McLaughlin. I've been a Chillicothe resident since 1986. I transferred here from Tennessee. I've been involved with United Way ever since I've been in the state of Ohio. Initially, um, doing fundraising a lot when I worked at the uranium enrichment plant uh, here in Piketon, and I got to visit all of the agencies in Ross County. That was the first time I was so very impressed with the multitudes of different kinds of very important things that United Way was involved in. And so I was supporting and active in supporting United Way, not just because it was part of my duties, but because I really in my heart thought it was a very, very and worthwhile thing to do. After the initial um, um, fundraising associated with my job, I retired and then I came to to, to uh, work in town and I went to work as the executive director for Ross County Community Action and that gave me many more opportunities to interface with, with uh, United Way, a big one of which was when we needed to establish a homeless shelter for men and there was no homeless shelter operating in the in the county and we worked with United Way and put a big forth a big effort uh, to get a homeless shelter going uh, here in the in the county. And if it had not been for United Way and working with United Way, that men's homeless shelter would not have existed then and it still exists now because of the continuing support of the United Way. And that's one of many examples I can come up with around this county and around this city of very positive, supportive things that United Way has done uh, over the years. Another example would be, I'm now on the board of directors for the last 20 years, I suppose, uh, with Carver Community Center. And we have a program called Men of Success Tomorrow, our most program. And we have eight young men in that program between the ages of eight and 12. And we go and we do a lot of field trips in the area. And part of the funding for um, Carver Community Center, of course, comes from United Way. And those young people have had so many positive experiences uh, as a result of the funding from United Way. And like I said, the list goes on and on, but those are two examples that come to mind. The homeless shelter um, that's been operating for many, many years and the Carver program that I'm involved with now. With each act of service and every gift contributed, United We Can make Ross County a better place to live. But it starts with you. Your donation to the United Way goes to directly support programs and people in Ross County. Programs such as the Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, in partnership with the Ohio Governor's Imagination Library, which provides books to Ross County youths. Sure wish I had one of those, he said. Nana set down her knitting. What for? You got the real life thing sitting across from you. What Have you seen? The help that you provide the United Way really makes a difference. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, our volunteers, and staff of the United Way of Ross County, we appreciate everything that you do. When we stand united, we all win.